And tonight, lots of frustration bowling over at the Charlotte City Council meeting. Hundreds of city workers and bus drivers showed up to protest for better working conditions. And one neighborhood says, not in my backyard. Queen City News Chief Political Reporter Emma Withrow is live at the Government Center tonight. Emma, first off, let's start with South Park neighbors. They are really ticked off about a new tax that they don't want. Yeah, that's right, Brian. Some of those members of the public came to voice their opinions on the proposed South Park Municipal Service District, and many of them were saying they didn't want to have to deal with that tax hike if it did get implemented in South Park. Now, the tax hike would be about four cents per one hundred dollars valuation, and that tax would generate one point three five million dollars every single year. So they would be able to hire more personnel, invest in infrastructure projects, and add more safety enhancements. But that's not going to be decided until April. It was just a, today was just a chance for the public to come out and voice their support or dissupport for that in front of the council. Now, I want to get into what was discussed regarding the two new bus lanes that are, that are going to be reopened on Independence Avenue. Those both have been closed since two, 2017. They were originally closed when work started to replace the Hawthorne Street overpass to accommodate the Gold Line streetcar. The project of reopening these bus lanes is estimated to cost about $750,000 Funding, though, for that restoration and reopening is expected to come from the CATS Capital Investment Plan. The project is expected to be finished by the end of this year, and the council did okay that today. Now, most of the meeting was taken up by the public forum. There was five different protest groups that showed up today that protested before the meeting and then spoke during the public forum. The protest groups consisted of CATS bus drivers and CATS employees hoping to get more safety on the job. There was also people there to support Ukraine. There was city workers who were hoping to get paid more. And then there were skateboarders who were hoping to sustain the Eastland Skate Park and have the city council not take that down. So there was lots of voices in the room, lots of different subjects covered. Take a listen to what some of the people were saying to the council members today. I had to hear men and women call me on the phone for hours and cry about safety issues. Safety issues that they scared that they're not going to make a home to their family. Right now, workers in this city can't afford to live here. And it's a shame. It's a crying shame that we can't afford to live in the city that we work in. These are small business owners that are trying to bring something special to the city of Charlotte. The council also discussed the situation in Ukraine. Councilman Tarek Bakari tweeted during the meeting saying that he thinks the city should cut off ties with their sister city in Russia. Mayor Lyles said that they're going to be discussing that at their next business meeting. And Lyles also said that there's currently 1,000 or Ukrainian nationals living here in Charlotte right now. And um, we'll have more on the website, qcnews.com. There was so much that happened during this meeting. So for full details on what, what was voted on and what they ended up deciding, visit our website for that. But for now, live at the Government Center, Emma Withrow, Queen City News.